Thank you, Lord. Every time I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Can you open your mouth and appreciate God this morning? Can you bless His holy name? Can you give Him thanks? Can you call Him by His name? He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha, the Omega. Can you open your mouth and appreciate Him? Can you bless His holy name? Can you call Him by His name? He is Yahweh. He is the King of Kings. The Alpha, the Omega. The one that he is and that forever be. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Lord, we give you thanks. Daddy, we thank you because you are God. Lord, we thank you because you are the Almighty. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the one that can kill and can make it alive. Lord, we reference you this morning. Daddy, we lift you high. Lord, we reduce ourselves this morning for you to be lifted. Daddy, we set ourselves aside for you to have your way. That which only you can do, please do in your service this morning. Lord, that which only you can do, please do in your service this morning. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you pray this day and say, Father, say, Father, I will not frustrate you. I will not frustrate you over what you are planning to do in my life in this season. Can you turn it to prayer? Lord, I will not frustrate you. I will not frustrate the plan towards my life concerning this season. Lord, King of glory, I will not frustrate your effort over my life. I will not frustrate your effort over my life. That is everything and anything that you are planning to do in my life this season. You give your word and your body and your death. Lord, King of glory, I will not use my own hand to renew my life. Can you pray that prayer? I will not use my hand to renew my life. Can you not use my hand to renew my life? Can you not use my hand to renew my life? Can you not use my hand to renew my life? Glory to God. 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 Can you open your mind and call it for That every good thing that the Lord has proposed to do in your life, in this season, this season, this very season, this season, this very season, open your mind and say to God, you will not forsake God's death. You will not use your hand to turn things upside down for yourself. In the name of Jesus, Lord King of glory, have mercy. Let mercy prevail over judgment. That is, let mercy prevail over judgment. Your word says that you will have mercy on who you have mercy on. And you will show compassion on you when you will show compassion on you. Lord, please show compassion on me. Show compassion. Have compassion on me. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Can you pray and say, Father, say, Father, open the heavens with God for this morning. Let the heaven over the day's service be open. Not just be open, but let it be continually open. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, open the heavens with God. Let the fear of heaven be made available. On the Lord, this study, you have heaven, you have heaven. In the name of Jesus, 
tell you, Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we love you, we appreciate you. That we bless you because you are God. That we thank you because you are the Almighty. Lord, please, Jesus, have your way this morning and let your name alone be glorified. We open the service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Sopra, io non ho fatto la mano. 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 Sopra
us from the inner man. You will cause every situation and circumstance around us to align to your will in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Shall we be seated in his wonderful presence? Look at somebody very close to you. Tell the person you are welcome into the presence of God. Tell another person you are welcome into his presence this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this first service, we shall be looking at a topic that says the walking in dominion. Everybody say walking in dominion. I can't hear you. Say that louder and clearer. Walking in dominion. Say that again. Walking in dominion. Say it one more time. Walking in dominion. So I read from the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verses number verse number 12. Proverb 2012. Proverb 2012. The hearing here and the seeing high. The Lord had made even both of them. Father, within the brevity of time. I ask you will breathe upon this word and you will cause it to have effect in the life of your people. I submit every faculty in me under the influence and direction of your spirit. Holy Spirit, this service belongs to you. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, mighty name we have prayed now the scripture we have read told us something very significant that there are two faculty in us and um, one of such faculty is the hearing amen and the other one is the seeing. and hearing is continuous it's not talking about once in a while it said the same high and the hearing here god make both of them so how what is the correlation of this scripture to the subject of dominion i want us to know this morning brothers that when bible is talking about the hearing here and the seeing high so he's talking about something an instrument that god has made available to us as believers to walk in dominion here on earth amen I've discovered that people that work in dominion, these two faculty is key into their life. Amen? Because there are certain things the enemy will not be able to do in your life when you carry this grace, when you carry the hearing grace and you're carrying the seeing ability of God. There are certain things the enemy will not be able to effect in your life. The Bible said the Lord disappoints the devices of what? Of the crafting so that their end will not do what will not be able to perform their enterprise bible told us of a man of god called elisha anytime the enemy is trying to relay the king of samaria amen elisha will tell him don't go to this side 
enemy is there waiting for you. So the king will remain in his palace. So they will change strategy. They will look into another direction. The servant of God will tell them, uh, the king, don't go this way because the enemy is there waiting for you. So every plan of the enemy was able to be foiled by Elisha simply because he had what is called the seeing eyes. Not a physical eyes. Amen. He's able to see into the realm of the spirit and understand the terrain of the enemy and what they are planning part time. And Bible told us that it got to a time the king became, I mean, the, 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 the enemy became angry. I said there's a mole in our midst that is giving this king, you know, instruction of what to do. Anytime we have the opportunity to strike him. They said, don't let us deceive you, sir. There's nobody here that wants to betray you. But there's somebody a city, in that city, a prophet, that whatever you are even saying in your bedroom, while you are contemplating it, the man gets to know. Now, so who is that person? They said, like, she said, go and fresh in for me. And when the enemy got there, they surrounded his house. And they asked him, come out. There's no place you can go. So the man of God, the servant went out first. He saw soldiers. He ran back and said, sir, we are in trouble. Soldiers have surrounded us. But this guy that walks in dominion carries ability to see. So when he came out, he saw the soldier. But he saw something that physical eyes cannot see. Amen. He said, beyond this army, physical army, there are other chariots of fire around me. These guys cannot touch me. So you ask God, open the eyes of you, this guy so that he can see the same thing I'm saying. So when the guy saw it, his perception, his, his, his assurance about God changes. He thought enemy can kill him initially. But he now realized that beyond what the enemy is doing, there's another power surrounding them. Amen. And the servant of God prayed and said, God blindfold them. Don't kill them. Just blindfold them. So they were blindfolded. They called them inside. Give them food. Let them to palace where they want to actually kill the king. And when the king said, let's destroy them, they said, no, send them back. So what am I saying? The servant of God was able to nip in the board whatever the enemy is planning. Because in the realm of the spirit, God granted to him what is called seeing eyes. I pray for somebody this morning. You will enjoy the ability to see and to hear from God concerning issues of your life in the name of Jesus. If you can say like that, I said you will enjoy the ability of God to see and to hear in the name of Jesus. But this is something in the book of Exodus chapter 7 verse 15. Exodus chapter 7 verse 15, I'll read from here. He said, they help you to know, I mean, they said, nevertheless, the Lord said, go back to Pharaoh. Everybody said, go back to Pharaoh. He said, in the money to be there, as he goes down to the river, stand beside the river bank and meet him there, holding in your hand the rod that turns into serpent. Exodus chapter 7 verse 15. God was the one talking to Moses. He said, Pharaoh is going to that river. Amen. Before he gets to the river, make sure you go there ahead of him. Amen. And when you are going, go with the rod. There are certain things the enemy is planning ahead of time. Amen. But when God gives you the hearing here and the same height, you will know ahead. And you will leave every plan of the enemy in the world. So I remember some years back, the enemy wants to take my wife out. Amen. And my baby, Favor. She was like seven or eight months heavy pregnant in uh, pregnant that time. And she got, you know, she got a job somewhere not a little distance from where we live. And um, God has not blessed her with car then, so she needed to take by, you know, to get to office. And one day she she's been doing that. One day she left and on her way going. 
I just have this hunch to ask her to come back. I said, come back. I said, kneel down. I went inside, took a bottle of anointing oil, poured it on her, lay hand on her, lay hand on the pregnancy, and I prayed passionately for her. I said, you can go. She left. She wouldn't have returned back home. Amen. She left the house. I think she closed in the office. She was coming back in the afternoon. The bike she took, this, you know, um, Aboki guys, was making a U-turn on the Express. As the guy was making a U-turn on the Express, another bike was coming with a very high speed, collided with my wife and the bike man, and fling both of them out of the bike. The man that rode the bike, his leg was right off. The bike, right off. They rushed my wife to hospital. And they were asking, who can we call, who can we call? She gave them, the, she collected, the, she, they were able to, it was not like now, amen? They saw her phone, they gave back her phone, so she called me and said, Pastor, I am in the hospital. I said, for you to talk, what happened? I said, she has an accident. So okay, no problem. We should speak to the tone. I went there. No scratch. Amen? Nothing, no scratch. With every pregnancy, nothing happens to her. The only thing that was, you know, painful to me was they squeezed money out of me at all costs. Amen? So you shouldn't be thanking God whatever amount you ask you to pay. And what did they give? Just, um, Parastamol, something, pay reliever, and ask, is there anything with you? He said, nothing. Anything? He said, nothing. She delivered favor, hail and health. Now, the enemy has projected ahead of time, amen, that you will lose your wife and your baby through accident. But there's something called the hearing here. I was saying hearing here. And the same high. The Bible said the two. You can get it from God. And it's for you to walk your dominion on this earth. Because the enemy said in the book of Exodus, said, I will arise, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide this power, I will make my loss to come to pass. But God has something that the enemy doesn't have. Amen. God has his plan that he has kept in store. He told Moses, he said, this enemy that is saying I will arise, I will pursue, don't worry about it. The Egyptian you see today, you will not see them again. I will do something in their life, and I will do something in your life that this enemy will become perpetual end. Amen. You know there are some enemies you fight, they come back, you fight, you come back, you fight. There are some enemies like that, but there are some enemies that you will fight them once, and they will not rise again. That was what Naum said in Naum 1 9. He said, What do you imagine against the Lord? He said they will make an upper hand and the affliction will not arise once the second time. I pray for somebody that can say amen. Whatever enemy pursue your destiny, they will not be able to lift their finger from today as forth in the name of Jesus. God will do what is called a perpetual end to every affliction around you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the seeing eye and the hearing hair help us to know the plans of the enemy and to nip them in the pot. So before Pharaoh get there, get there ahead of him. I cannot begin to mention several things. You no, know, there was a day I was in Lagos, I got a job, my family was in the bottom. At about 2 a.m., I woke up. I didn't know what happened, I just woke up couldn't sleep. I mean, I was doing a very tedious job that I would stand for almost eight hours every day, not sitting. So when I come back to office, what I want to do is eat, rest, and sleep. Amen. I just woke up to him. And, you know, I was staying with some other bachelors that time, you know, just planning to get an accommodation where, like, a, a voice of them. So I left the room, went to the balcony outside. It was this Face me and face your house in Fade. I was in the back pony, so I could pray very well. I was praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit, 
praying in the spirit. I called my wife. I said, Where are you? She said, She's in the room. I said, Okay, kneel down. I was praying in the spirit, praying upon her. I said, Where is the voice? She said, She's with me. I lay hand, I said, Lay hand on her. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I prayed till the around four or five. I went back to rest and plan for the day's job. In the morning, she was trying to reach me. I switched off my phone. In the afternoon, she called me. Said, "What do you know what happened?" I said, "I don't know." She said, "After your prayer, around five thirty or six, I decided to, you know, leave your room and go to parlor." Said immediately, I honed the lights. You know these flies they call sesame fly. These big, big, big ones, not the house fly. Those big, big ones. Said all of them covered the wall of the parlor. My parlor was quite big. So everywhere was covered thick to thick. So she has never seen that kind of thing. She has run back. <laughs> I came again and saw them. So what are this one doing? I said, God knew what the enemy wants to do ahead of time. Amen. So I pray for you. The same grace will work in your life. I said the same grace will work in your life. There is the reason why Christians die like chicken. Is because some of us will lack what is called hearing hair and seeing eye. I remember one of our pastors here was saying you know, they brought a house girl for her. As the house girl was coming, he was hot there. Saw the house girl naked, you know, trying to seduce him. He, he has not come down, amen. Trying to seduce him, and he knew the kind of spirit this one is coming with. And he asked, We are from where? In that revelation, say I'm from Soso Town. So, few minutes later, the house guard arrived and they said, Oh, the house guard has arrived though. He said, Ask her, where is she from? The same place. He said, Tell her to go. I don't, I don't even need to see her. Amen. Why? Because ahead of time, he knew this one would come and said, Excuse me. There are some of us, ah, she's, she's at my house, she's very nice. Amen. Are you with me? But these guys carry strange spirits. Have seen a lot in life. Have seen people having miscarriages. Amen. People having all manner of trouble simply because of certain relationship they allowed into their life. I pray for you. You will not walk in darkness. You will not walk in darkness. You will not walk in darkness. Walking in darkness does not mean that you cannot see. It's only that you cannot see spiritually. People you are supposed not to go and meet and tell them about your matter. They are the same people you go to. I want to come and report my husband to you because you are the one close to him. Because you are the one that is his family. You are the one that is close to us among the family. And you don't know the same person you came to close to you in the family is the one telling the rest. And instead of that, don't worry, I will keep maintaining that relationship so that I can keep on having information. Oh, we want to buy a car now. We are trying planning to travel now. So as we are planning it, sharing it, they were telling others. Amen. Until God begin to reveal certain things to you and the beginning of your problem, you will not be able to come out of it. Bible said, my people are destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge. So when God is talking about for lack of knowledge, he's talking about ability to see. Amen. An ability to hear. Look, read the next verse. It says, see so many things, yet they cannot perceive. Hearing so many things, yet they cannot understand. So God is communicating his mind to you, telling you this is happening around you, yet you are dumb. Can you imagine a small boy going towards fire? You know, three years or two years. Say, Junior, that is naked wire. Don't go there. Will he listen to you? Does he have here? Yes. Can you hear? Yes. Can you understand what you are saying? No. So not everyone that has ear can hear. That is why Jesus said, anyone that has ear, let him do what? Let him hear. He's not talking about physical ear. So let him hear what the Spirit is talking about. The ability to hear the Spirit. So it is a faculty in God through which God communicates to you and guides your way in life so that you will not walk in error. People will come and give you business opportunity. 
ah this you can do this uh, within six months you will make money you will become a millionaire a lot of courses kids amen that is why i don't i am not so much in a hurry to be a millionaire amen you know my wife is always on the uh, you know like women on the emotional side ha ah, pastor they said there's something now let's go kill it even if it will crash let's just i said no i won't do it praise the lord so when it crashed i said do you see the reason why i said i won't do it some of us we have put our money there but you can't come to church and say pastor please pray for me why because you know pastor was not here that i went to go and put my money some of them do it now do it now you will make it so so person there they will not go and look for one big man to use as a front so so person is there so so person is there so so person is there bible said the hearing here and the same eyes is what is of the lord there are businesses you put your money into it's gone you've got all of the long amen thank god for one of our pastors was sharing with me last sunday that there was this, you know, they were trying to buy a property or rent a property for a business. And the people said, okay, come and pay money so that we sign the document. Just so send the document paper. Let me read what is in the document. Said, no, 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 you pay first before you sign. Said, no. So they will give it to another person, give it to them. Amen. Because ahead of time, God has shown him that this thing, there will be a problem there. And the people they want to do it with were so desperate. Let's go for it. It has an opportunity. Is this? I said no, 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 no. It's not every door, every open door that is a, is is God's door. Amen. There are some doors that are trapped in disguise. Every time you want to catch an animal, what do you do? You set a trap for him. And when the animal set the trap, he said, "This is an open door." He does not know that that thing will cost him his life some of us we need the hearing here i was a hearing here and the same high so hearing here and the same high be able to navigate your life through the darkness of this world psalm 74 verse 20 psalm 74 verse 20 said have respect unto thy covenant for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty i like the way the living bible put it Say, so remember your promise, for the land is full of dark darkness. Say, so the land is full of darkness and cruel men. We live in a wicked world. Tell somebody, we live in a wicked world. So the enemy, if you don't have the hearing here hear and seeing high, you will not be able to navigate your life through this darkness. I had a testimony yesterday, very horrible. A lady got married, you know, everybody wants to get married. Got married, got pregnant. Nine months down the line, the pregnancy came down. I mean, she went to go and deliver, and she delivered a dead baby. And the trusted got for another pregnancy. Nine months, the baby was delivered dead. Third pregnancy, the baby was delivered dead. So they concluded that there must be something in Nigeria, you know, that is killing. Because the gynecologist, everybody saw the baby is still very okay, healthy, just to deliver. Dead baby came out. So they traveled to the United States of America to go and deliver. They got there nine months. The baby, woman was in labor. All the professionals that need to attend to her were on that case. The baby came dead. So they went want to go the second time something now occurred to them that go and meet the pastor let them pray for you so they went to go and meet a pastor uh, a provincial pastor that one they didn't tell him anything he just said my wife will soon be due for you know maybe in a few months time we were traveling abroad to go and deliver there so want you to pray for us so just lay hand on uh, ask them to come to the altar lay hand on them pray 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 for them and they go now what happened was when they got to america where they were lodging the husband i mean when it was so very sure that in the next day or two the lady will be put to bed so the wife was on the bed sleeping went to go and sleep so the husband was in the parlor later he decided to go and join the wife on the bed and when immediately entered the room they saw a very big snake amen 
in the room, I think on the bed. The man shouted and called for people. So they come around. This is not spiritual snake. Physical. They killed that snake and the baby came out alive. So there's a presence that they don't see around them. Anytime the baby wants to be born, is there to kill the baby. You remember Revelation chapter 12? We said there was a woman that was in travail and there's a dragon waiting to kill that child as soon as he was born. But after the prophetic prayer, God opened the eyes of the husband to see the beginning and the end of their trouble. That this is a spiritual snake that always works. So God unveiled the snake so that they can see it physically. Amen. They killed the snake, then they had the same delivery. I pray for somebody. I will pray to you, but I will interpret in English. The, the, the battle that is raging against your life, but it's so close like your skin to you that you don't see it. From today, God will begin to open your eyes to them in the name of Jesus. I want to bring around that because of our time. Another thing that you know the same eyes and hearing here does is to open us up our eyes to opportunities around us and out to our nurses. There are opportunities that is flying by. Bible call it the riches of darkness. Amen. It was speaking, you know, with Cyrus. He said it is anointed. He said it will open the two link gates in the book of you know Isaiah. I think Isaiah 45. He was talking to Cyrus the king. He said, God said, I will open the two link gates. He said it will not be shut. I read from say, and it will, and I will give thee the treasure of darkness. Can you say amen? And Eden riches. Isaiah 45, verse 3. Isaiah 45, verse 3. Said, I will give thee the treasure of darkness and the riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I am I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name. I am God. I am God of Israel. So God said, one of the things I can do for you is to open your eyes to riches that is close, that is in darkness, that people don't know. At times we will go in darkness because we don't have access to this. I remember one of my sons is, is, is doing well now as a missionary in the kitchen among the students. When he was University of Lagos, he finished from Unilag, he read, uh, you know, building, uh, building stuff, something like civil you know, engineering. So there was a particular course that was so tough, the lecturer always pride himself that 60% of the students will rerun the course. Amen. And they made up their mind when they are, we are not going to rerun, our set will be different. So they start reading, they start preparing. The, the more they listen to the lecturer, the more they get confused because it has to do with calculation. And the man will teach them, they will go back and do tutorial, they will not understand what the man was saying. So he occurred to them that they are going to rerun. Praise the Lord. So this guy began to press in God that beyond what this man is teaching, there's what is called a hearing here and a sin high. One day, few days to the exam, as they were preparing, he had a dream. And in that dream, he saw the same lecturer asking him to sit down, brought the question before him. I was asking him, if I ask you to answer this in your exam, I'm not, he told me. The guy told me himself, so if I ask you to answer this in your exam, this is the calculation. So they did the calculation. The second one, if you see this question, this is how to answer it. The third one is how. So we gave him all the that's for. So he came out of that revelation, went to his you know lecture material, saw some of the questions there, attempted to he remembered what he saw in the revelation. He attempted to solve it, solve it well. All few of his friends, in case this come out, this is the answer. This is how to solve it. So they did the tutorial and they went to the exam. They saw all the questions verbatim. Amen. So the guy passed that exam with flying color. So they now came back to him and said, "Please, the next one." Amen. If you see, so God is still in the business of revealing the secrets. He said the secret things belong to God. But those things which are revealed, what belong to us and our children. So how can I assess what is this hearing here and seeing high? 
It's simple. It's called the spirit of revel wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Him, according to Ephesians. Is the ability of the Spirit of God to communicate the depth of God in our spirit in such a way that you will understand it. Amen. There are some mysteries in the realm of the spirit, but those mysteries are not there to be hanging there. They are there for our comprehension until God begins to show us that this is what I meant by this. Amen. There is a word for everybody. There is a specific word for you. That is what I said. say. Until the time that his word came, he was talking about us, Joseph. And there is a word that God revealed to you particularly. Everybody will look at the scripture. Something in the scripture just jumped to you. And as you are grooving over it, God begins to give you understanding. You remember what that angel told Daniel? He said, I have come from the presence of God to give you understanding. So God has the ability to use a scripture that is common for God so loved the world that he gave. He can bring it up, expose your eyes to something that will be an eternal benefit to the rest of your children and generation. That in years to come, you will remember that I had an encounter with God. I was just reading the book of John 3, 16. This verse came out and the Bible said he gave his word is enlarge them and deliver them. So the heaven became whole of heart disease because he saw in Mark 11, if you shall say to this mountain, and from that day he believed he is no more suffering from heart failure. He has people to raise him up, they will bring him up and fall again. But that thing kept on telling him. So that is what is called the spirit of revelation. So as I'm not a prophet, I am just a child of God. You are, you are saying this because you are, you are a man of God. No. Amen. Heart of chapter 2. It said, and it shall come to pass in the last day. I will pour out of my spirit. On how many? On all. Everybody say that. So I am not going to discriminate upon all flesh. Your young men and your daughters, they shall walk they shall prophesy. Another thing they say they will do is that they will see vision. So I'll give them ability to hear me. I'll give them ability to see into the realm of the spirit. They will see things that is not common. So when the enemy is coming to attack, you know it ahead of time. You just smile. Amen. You say you are welcome. I know you are coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. So nothing will set you. He said your mind is set to trust in God. Everyone that has worked in dominion, I notice they have this grace operational in their life. And I pray for somebody listening to me, either online or in on site, that this grace will remain manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to rise up on your feet. You are going to pray one prayer. God open my eyes in my deafness in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for today. As a Christian, as a son and a daughter of God, that they want to operate as one of those people that have ears but cannot hear, that have eyes but cannot see. Lord, open my spiritual eyes, open my spiritual hearing in the name of Jesus. Maliki Sotaya Pradarabe Sotayaba, Likaro Sopra Akatoya, Jekataya Marawa, as God open your faculty. Li kanta ye baraba, li ke sotra e ke sota yaba, li karo sota yaba. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Isaiah 50, 50 verse four and five. Isaiah fifty verse four and five. I read from here. So the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. The next verse said, In walking it morning by morning. He will let my ear to hear as the land. The Lord has opened my eyes. Look at it. You will let my ear to hear. Verse 5, Isaiah 15, verse 5 says, The Lord has opened my ear, and I am not rebellious, neither turn back again. I want you to do something prophetic this morning. Place your left hand on your eyes, place your right hand, you know, your index finger on your ear. Lord, by your mercy, 
everyone at the sound of my voice touch their spiritual ears and from today let them have access to your instruction in the name of jesus christ open their eyes let them have access to your vision in the name of jesus from today let them operate in the supernatural let them operate in the union thank you eternal father in jesus mighty name we are prayer can you please celebrate jesus